welcome to another video which is a request of um, AST AST question number nine of the same paper which was um, paper 4 to October November 2014 and let's have a look at this question now we have a layer 1 which has only a gray block then we have layer 2 which has one white block and on the corners they have added four gray blocks and then if we have a look at layer 3 then again what they have done is replace the gray blocks with the white blocks and then on the corners again they have added four more gray blocks okay so what they are doing here is just replacing the number of gray blocks and adding and making them white blocks in the next layer and for the gray blocks they are just adding in the corners and it's four more every time the diagram shows layers of white and gray cubes now Khadija places these layers on top of each other to make a tower complete the table of towers with five and six layers now with the gray it's really obvious that every time they are adding four more to the corner isn't it they are just adding their four more in the corner so 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 4 is 13 and then 13 plus 4 is 17 and then again 17 plus 4 is 21 that's really this really obvious but for the white as I said earlier that they are taking the number of gray and just replacing it with white so if these four were gray in this layer in the next layer they are white now so it's just they are checking from the previous okay so here we had five gray in total and then they added five more in the previous so the total becomes six so because it was one here they added five more it became six okay and the same thing here there were nine gray so they added a nine more in the six to get 15 okay because this the total is exactly the same so it just comes up because one plus five is six and here also what we are doing is one plus five and six so our answer is already here for the next one okay so six this one is 15 here 28 okay so 28 plus 17 will give us 45 because this row is just the total we just have to add this is very simple and then again this 45 will come over here why because we already had 28 white and the next one we will replace the gray ones so 28 plus another 17 it's 45 so we'll just copy it here no need to add it again so then the final number 45 plus 21 will give us 66 so that's good four marks isn't it it's just about understanding the question now b1 find in terms of n the total number of gray cubes in a tower with n layers so n is our the number of layers so as we know how many how many increase in the gray is 4 so we say 4n if there were increasing by 10 we will say 10n if they were increasing by I don't know 3 we will say 3n so it's always the rule how many they are increasing by was 4 so we'll say 4n and then we will check our number with the first always with the first what is the difference 4 and here it's 1 so how to get back to our first one is if you will deduct 3 so if we deduct from 4 3 we'll get back to our first one that's how we work it out to get the formula so this is our formula for where n is the number of layers okay so let's have a look at uh, part 2 find the total number of Greek cubes in a tower with 60 layers here n is our layers in the formula isn't it so i will say four times layers this time they have given us the layers minus three so this is our formula and this will give us 237 okay now let's have a look at part three khatija has plenty of white cubes but only 200 gray cubes how many layers are there in the highest tower that she can build so we have a limitation of gray cubes and thankfully we have a formula for gray cubes so we can use the same formula because we know we cannot go over 200 our total number of gray cubes and we have the formula for total number of gray cubes here so we know so we'll say 4 
n is that's what we are looking for n is this how many layers and these are layers for n minus 3 and this answer will give us the total number of gray cubes which cannot be more than 200 so it can be maximum 200 I could have said it cannot it should be less than or equal to 200 but it just keep it let's let us just keep it simple anyway okay so this is my uh, equation I, I just want to know the number of layers okay so I will say 4n is equals to negative 3 on the left hand side right hand side it will be a positive 3 so 200 plus 3 is 203 and then the next step will be n4 is being multiplied here on the right hand side it will be divided so n is eventually equal to 203 over 4 which will give us um, 50.75 now we can cannot create a 51st layer because we still have uh, we have we can create at least 50 isn't it because but we cannot create 51 because we won't have enough gray cubes so a few gray cubes will be left but we will at least complete 50 layers okay so our answer is 50 layers okay now let's have a look at part C the expression for the total number of white cubes this time they have already given us the expression but in terms of P and Q and we already found the expression of gray this time we are looking for the expression for white cubes so which is P n square plus Q n plus 3 where we have to find the value of P and Q so this is the expression and we have few answers they said to find the total number of white cubes and we have total number of white cubes in our first layer and in our second layer in our third fourth fifth and sixth so why not just take these values and make the equation more simpler okay so I will say and n we already know is the number of layer so p n and let's uh, I will just take the first layer and the second layer just to keep the numbers very simple in the first layer plus Q and again I will take the first layer plus 3 so in my first layer this is the expression of total so I will get here total so in my first layer the total number of white cubes was 0 isn't it so I will say 0 and this will be my equation 1 but let me just simplify a bit more so I will have P plus Q is equals to minus 3 and I can actually say P is equals to minus 3 minus Q just to make it the most simple to solve for, for P so whenever I have wherever I see P I can say minus 3 minus Q and replace it with minus 3 minus Q and for my second layer I can say P N for N I mean the second layer this time plus Q again sorry it's Q not, not P again plus Q plus 3 and for my second layer the total expression should be equals to for my second layer the total expression for white was equals to 1 okay this is equals to 1 now all I have to do is solve so let me just simplify a bit more it will become 4 2 squared is 4 4 times P plus 2 times Q um, plus 3 is equals to 1 now I have already solved for P here so I can just easily replace by the way this is simultaneous equation question okay it's more simultaneous equation question now 4 times P P is what minus 3 minus Q okay all I have done is just replace this P with this value which I have already found sorry okay so that's my P plus 2 Q just carrying on plus let me just make the 3 on the right hand side but it's a number so it will be a negative 3 1 minus 3 is minus 2 right so I will say equals to minus 2 then I'll, I'll just solve this one I will have 4 times minus 3 is minus 12 4 times minus Q is minus Q plus 2Q sorry minus 4Q plus 2Q is equals to minus 2 
and then this negative 12 will on it's on the left hand side on the right hand side of the equal sign it will be a positive 12 so minus 2 plus 12 is minus 10 here and minus 4 plus 2 Q is minus 2 Q okay this it's being multiplied here on the right hand side it will be a divide so Q is equals to 10 over negative 2 which is negative 5 so we have found our Q which is negative 5 okay once I have found the Q I can easily replace the Q here to find my P because I have already arranged the equation for P to make things easier so I'll say minus 3 minus Q what is my Q it's negative 5 so it will be negative 3 minus minus means plus so it will be negative 3 plus 5 okay and which is positive 2 and that's my P so I'll just write the values P is 2 Q is minus 5 okay and finally we have uh, part D now Find an, exp uh, an expression in terms of n for the total number of cubes in a tower with n layers. Give your answer in simplest form. Now, now they want an expression for total. The good news is we already have an expression for gray and we already have an expression for white. So for the total, we just have to add them both, isn't it? So what is an expression for gray? It's 4n minus 3. Gray? 4n minus 3. That's my gray. For total we have to add the gray with the white and the white we have already equation we already have the equation it's p n square by the way p is 2 so I've said 2 n square plus again it was q n and q is minus 5 so I would say minus 5 q uh, that's my q n okay and then I have plus 3 so that's my white and that's my gray. I just have to add them both to get the final answer. So this negative 3 and positive 3, this will be cancelled. Okay, we don't have another expression with the power. So I will just keep carry, carry it down 2 and square. And then negative 5 plus 4 will give us negative 1. So I'll have negative 1n. Okay, so that's my final answer. Thanks for watching.